Yeah, I have a patient waiting. And I'm still not getting an answer. Were you telling the truth in there? Now, come on, Des. What kind of question is that? A simple one. Just say yes or no. Nothing's changed, Greg. Our deal is still in force. What are you talking about? You're dead. You can't show your face back in Landview. Well, my brother can. And who's to say he is encircling your family right now? Why would I lie? I'm still not getting an answer. And I'm not going anywhere until I get one. All rise. Be seated. Let me begin by saying I've been informed about the violent outburst that happened outside my courtroom just now. You've run out of warnings. Now, to the matter at hand. I've reviewed the new testimony and I've made my decision. This case has taken some unpredictable turns, to say the least. But throughout, one thing has been eminently clear. Both parties petitioning for custody love Danielle Rayburn, and I respect that. But it's my job to decide what living arrangement is in the child's best interest. And with that in mind, I'm ruling in favor of Mr. Rayburn. Uh, this is Bill, Your Honor. I don't know how it's in Danielle's best interest not to be living with her father. Order, uh, Counselor. Get your client under control. Uh, don't make it worse. Well, I don't know how it could get any worse. The, the kid's mother just died of a brain tumor. And what you're doing now is ripping her away from whatever security she has. My client is understandably disappointed, Your Honor. Tell him if he keeps this up, he can say goodbye to any chance at a liberal visitation arrangement. Visitation? Are you telling me I have to get permission to see my own daughter? The court accepts that Danielle is your biological child, but you didn't make contact with her until very recently. And given that her mother's will stipulates that Danielle be raised no, by that's Mr. Not Rayburn, that's what Taya wanted, Your Honor, please. She wanted Danny to be with Todd, and if she said it once to me, she said it many, many times. That will right there is a fake, and Mr. Rayburn knows it. You know, I don't know where it happens that well, but I can't. Look, I don't know why you would lie. All I know is that what she said in there sounded all wrong. Well, I said what I had to say. I'm sorry if it isn't what you want to hear. I can't believe Danny's mom wanted her with Ross. I know Danny's your friend, and I know you want her to stick around, Des. This is not about what I want. This is about what Danny's mom wanted. And I just yes. don't... Hey, is it over? Did the judge make a decision? No, it's probably about to happen any minute now. And if it is, Danny's gonna need her friends. You two should get in there. What about you? I have to go check on a patient. Wait, what patient? Why does it matter? I was just wondering if you were going back to Cherry. Wait, I have several different patients, and they all need my attention. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Let's go find Danny. There's something I should maybe tell you first. Later, okay? I need to know what's going on. Even if you're not gonna like it. Why? You think she's going to have to go back to Tahiti? I think my brother's right. Danny's going to need us. Can you stay for a while? Yeah. My mom's not waiting up or anything. She has plans tonight. Just do another. I was there the day that Taya signed her will. It was the same day that she said if anything were to happen to Todd that she wanted me to be Danny's legal guardian. That's right. Did you hear that? If anything happened to me, Your Honor, not to Ross, to me. I have made my decision. That's the wrong decision. That's enough, Mr. Manning, or I'll have you removed. Is that the last impression you want to give Danielle? Now, what do you mean, last impression? I'll give you some time to say your goodbyes. I hereby transfer custody of Danielle Rayburn to Ross Rayburn, effective immediately. All this justice, you should be disbarred. I'm going to put that in an editorial in tomorrow's paper. Buy a copy. You'll like it. <laughs> Are you threatening me, Mr. Manning? Oh. I haven't even begun. Todd, dial it down. You're cutting your own throat here. You better make this right. If you don't, your job is only the first thing they'll lose. 
Okay? There's gonna be more. No, you know what, Your Honor? So much more. It's obvious this man is very, very upset. He doesn't know what he's saying. He just lost his wife. Now he's afraid he's gonna lose he his little exactly girl. exactly what he's saying, Your Honor. Mr. Manning has a history of violence. It's a matter of public record. And if you grant visitation, I'm gonna fight it. So, what do you... You can't keep Todd from seeing Danny. That's not up to you. Visitation is for the court to decide, Mr. Rayburn. I understand, Your Honor. Uh, there's something you need to hear so that you will understand my position and, 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 and why Danny needs a clean break. Why are you doing this? You'll see as soon as the judge gives me a chance to uh, explain. All right, Mr. Rayburn, go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I'm sorry to do this, but... Uh, Danny needs to know who Mr. Manning really is and how dangerous he can be. What are you going to do? Kill me? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'd like me to shove that tape recorder down your throat. Order! Your Honor, this is not evidence. This is uh, entrapment. It was taken out of context and... We don't know how he got the tape. We don't know uh, 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 when he got it, uh, how he edited it. No editing required, Your Honor. He had a gun on me at the time I recorded it. I have someone to dispose of your body. I've got a guy uh, who will have your name on his passport and a bunch of witnesses who just saw me leave this memorial before you. Oh, God. How could you? Please don't misunderstand. Yeah, no, take it. Out of this context. can't be admissible. Court will come to seems. order. It really isn't. That means you, Mr. Manning. You stay away from her, man. You as well, Mr. Rayburn. Everyone back to their seats. And I was fighting for you. I was willing to do whatever it took. If that meant scaring Ross off, okay, fine. Right? Right? For us, so we can be together. Look at this. Look at what we're dealing with here. I tell you, he's dangerous. He would have killed me, I'm telling you. And he you. didn't, did he? So why don't you shut up? Everybody sit down or I'm going to hold you all in contempt. I'm prepared to make my ruling on visitation. Mr. Rayburn, given what we've just heard, I can understand your misgivings about having Mr. Manning be given access to Danielle. Your Honor, I'm just trying to provide a safe home environment for Danielle, is all. And, and the only way I see doing that is to... Have Danny and myself return to Tahiti as soon as no, possible. No, no, no. Court can't, permission. You can't do of that. Course. For the last time, Mr. Manning, another outburst, and I will be forced to alert the DA about your recent death threats. I think I may anyway. But for now, I can only state that I approve of Mr. Rayburn's suggestion. You have my permission to take Danielle out of the country at the earliest opportunity. Thank you. Not stalking you. Mom, what's up? It's about your sister. I'm instructing you now to go home with Mr. Manning and pack your things. Your Honor, I, I have to go with him. I can't I can't leave him alone with her. He, he, he might try to kidnap her. <laughs> like you did? Your Honor, at least I deserve a few minutes to say goodbye to my daughter. I'm not gonna do it in front of this scum. Mr. Rayburn. You will give Mr. Manning and Danielle an hour. A police officer will accompany them to make sure no security is breached. Oh, Danny, this is crazy. Can't, they can't just make me leave. Oh, it'll be okay. How? I'm going to fix it. Just wait for me. Where, where are you going? I'll be back. I promise you that. <laughs> Why did you just leave? Are you going this time? Danny. I am so sorry. I feel like this is all my brother's fault. And all I did was tell the truth. I wish Nate hadn't run off. He didn't even tell me where he was going. He cares about you so much. Then why did he leave? I don't know. But he wouldn't have done it without a good reason. Nay. 
I do. What's wrong? I need your help. Bad. What happened? I'm losing my sister. Where does she think she's going? Well, Todd, the hearing is over. There's not anything that we can say. No, there isn't. So what happened to our appeal? We'll get it started tomorrow morning. God, after the mess you made today. I'd have done so much better with a public defender. Obviously, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm fired. Listen, we just weren't prepared. Next time we'll be prepared, all right? We'll find a way to get Danny back. We'll find a way. Hey, kiddo, you okay? No. You will be, I promise. We'll just take it one step at a time. Okay, and then, you know, we'll leave in an hour and everything will be okay. Ah. Hey, 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 get your hands off. Let's not make things difficult, gentlemen. Let's just get Danny home, okay? Let's get her home.